Aloha, and thank you for the invitation. I'm very glad and very proud to be here today, together with you, uh, this, this wonderful, in this wonderful room. Uh, I would like to give a short presentation of, of the course uh, that comes here to Honolulu every year. Uh, and spend, our time, spend four weeks here at Ethnic Studies. Then we go to Big Island for about two weeks. And from there, uh, the students continue to do their own research for six weeks. Uh, the focuses in the course are human rights, indigenous peoples, and sustainability. So you see, it, it covers quite a wide range of subjects. Uh, and it's a part of the non-formal educational system that, is, that we have in Sweden and the other Scandinavian countries. We have three major cooperation part partners. It's the Sami Educational Center in Jokmok, Lund University, they're both in Sweden, and then of course, Ethnic Studies Department here in Honolulu. Uh, and, and we start the course with a background in anthropology, and among other things, we discuss ethnocentrism. Uh, and that, there I would like to, to make some kind of connection to, to what happened, or what you were talking about yesterday, about the, the Vikings, <laughs> our ancestors who we're quite proud of sometimes. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, in the beginning of the course, uh, I share an article from National Geographic, uh, which describes the, or explains the migration patterns in Pacific, uh, and also the navigation skills that we've just heard of. So everyone in, in class is fascinated by this. And uh, of course, they, they ask these questions, why did they leave in the first place? And how, how could they find these small rocks here in, in the Pacific? Uh, and, but, but the main thing about me handing out this article uh, is the cover of the journal, journal National Geographic. Uh, because uh, on the front page you see say, a big wave, a canoe, uh, and a night sky with a lot of stars. And the headline is, Polynesians, the Vikings of the Pacific. And no one reacts on that in, in, in the first place. So, so I think uh, we, we could have, the Vikings, were, they were good, good navigators. They, they, they sailed from Europe to, to North America, spent some, some decades there, but came back. They didn't like it properly, <laughs> so they went back to Scandinavia. Uh, but but the, the thing is that, we have this ethnocentric perspective, and it's very clear when you read this article. Uh, so this also indicates that you have a theoretical framework that isn't really enough uh, in a course like this. And the possibility to participate in, in MENA, service learning project, adds many aspects to our students uh, and their time here. Uh, we get a lot of experiences, oh, sorry. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we get to know values, knowledge and perspectives uh, that are, uh, say, keywords for, for the, uh, the time here. And this is also processes that takes long time to digest, and I have asked students from previous classes uh, about their experiences. And I would like to quote some of the answers that I got uh, from three different former students. Uh, and one says like this, uh, what they have experienced and learned mainly through this uh, period here uh, with service learning and the outreach programs. Uh, the complexity of multiculturalism was clearer uh, but more complicated to me after the time in Palolo. On a personal level, I was very much inspired by Dahlia and Professor Ulla and the way the women in Palolo work together is something we all can learn from. That was the first. The second, I now work in the Swedish Immigration Authority and my understanding of other cultures was deepened in Hawaii. I learned a lot from uh, Kapuatani, but I didn't understand it then when I was here. It took some years before. Uh, and th th this also includes examples of the, the, these personal meetings with people in, involved in the projects. Uh, the third one I would like to quote says, uh, I have continued to study anthropology, but I really miss the service learning we had in Hawaii. 
My opinion is that our professors in Sweden are too lazy, she's not at the University of Lund, <laughs> to do something similar. Uh, in the service learning and MENA, I felt that I could give something back to, to the society as well. And my personal reflections is that the programs together with partners outside the university contributes uh, to both partners. And for us, from Sweden, this is quite a new experience to have this, this uh, degree of, of cooperation with other partners outside university. And I understand that it takes a lot of work and a lot of energy uh, from both partners. Uh, and when I see the impact this has for my groups, especially when it comes to their reflections after uh, a year like this, uh, there are lectures, articles and books we have read that comes in their mind, but very much those occasions when they work together in MENA service learning are the one that makes strong and lasting memories. And it's my absolute belief that service learning, uh, except for the fun we can have in the Lowy, and we, when we listen to the storytellers that we meet, that we also experience, the experiences we have widens the perspectives and contribute to a wider understanding of Hawaii and also the global world. Uh, and we also make, of course, we compare this university system with the one in Sweden. And I think we have a lot of learn in Sweden when, when we come to the outreach uh, perspective. Uh, and we take, we take the knowledge back and with uh, what is ro rooted in many minds are the love and respect for the land and the fellow humans. And these, of course, are, are pillars in a sustainable future. With that, <coughs> I'd like to thank you all for listening. Thank you very much. <laughs>